Howdy, howdy everybody. How y'all doing today? Y'all check it out. We got some Froggy Flips merch. Thrifting ain't easy. Got the little frog here. I don't know why it looks backwards. Because you're reading it in the camera screen. Is it backwards to them, reckon? No. I'm stupid. You're smart. I was wrong. You were right. You're the best. I'm the worst. Uh, you're very good looking. I'm not attractive. All right. As long as you're willing to admit that now. It's just backwards to us. Thanks, Anthony. I appreciate them. We love them. We're going to be rocking them out a lot. I probably should have went with the extra large. Hmm. Schmedium. Mine's the medium. You're just the large. <laughs> but um, if y'all are new to our channel, my name is Colton. She's Courtney. And it is currently 7.25 a.m. It's early. early. We should be in bed. But um, we got work to do over here today. We're shrinking this death pile slowly but surely. We're going to do a little bit of a purge on it here today, maybe. Maybe. No, we no. got how many orders going out? Six. Six orders going out on the Ebays. So we're going to get them pulled and packed up. One of them's pretty heavy. It's going to be fun to shoot. Those are some pretty good sales. Yeah, can't complain. But we're going to do a purge on this death pile maybe today and try to get rid of some of this cheaper junk. Or just set it to the side for donate. That's what I mean by getting rid of the cheaper junk. Yeah, donate. but your definition is sometimes... Throwing it in a dumpster. Yeah. Anyhow, let's jump right in and get started, guys and gals. So, as y'all can see, we've got one, two, three barrels gone off of there, and that big bag that was right there completely gone. So, it's shrinking. Shrinking, shrinking. See, we got that barrel emptied out. And then we got, I think this one's empty. That one's empty. So, I think our main focus, to, ain't them fishes ugly? Hmm. Let me go eyes. Mm. Anyhow. I think the main focus, I'm going to try to get those golf clubs listed today. Throw away that bag. Because it's raunchy. Yeah, it's raunchy. And then we're going to start going through this stuff, I guess, or that stuff, and purging and listing. She um, blacked out these, so I ain't got to buy none of that frosted glass stuff. Hey, there I am. Hey. But, um, yeah, let's jump right in. We got one, two, three, four, five, six going out today. But, yeah, let's jump in on these orders. I'll go ahead and show you this first one since it's sitting right here. It's this Sony um, Trinitron 9-inch CCTV. It is, you know, color TV. Got the remote with it. The cool thing about this TV is you can mount it, like, under a cabinet or up on the ceiling, and this swivels. And um, just a little old you know, CCTV. And people like to buy these for their gaming. But um, it was really dusty. We cleaned it the best we could, but we put in there that it was dirty, had some stains and discoloration. And um, people would have to, you know, do a deeper clean if they wanted to. But anytime y'all see these little Sony Trinitrons, look them up. Actually, any little TV, like the old school box TVs, look them up because these things sell really good, and especially if you can get the ones with the VCRs built in. Yeah, they sell really good and pretty good money if you ain't afraid to ship them. This one sold for fifty-eight twelve plus shipping, and I and this sold within hours. I mean, probably eight hours. And this is all in. The guy is like ninety-nine fifty or something. So, and it weighs about eh, thirteen fourteen pounds, so not too bad. So. Yeah, anytime y'all see these TVs, look them up. All right. So the first thing we got to go to, we got them wrote down and skewed up here, is a Nelson Grandmother Bible on N2. So we're going to walk over here to the N2 shelf. Uh-oh. We got some books up here. So this Bible right here, as y'all can see, it's a Grandmother's Edition, Grandmother's Memories Edition. And um, this ended up selling for $44.99 plus shipping. 
it is from I don't know how to give you a copyright date 1976 and um, never been used you know field ads got a spot for a nice picture in there so that was a good flip paid $2.99 for that at the Goodwill I think and um, I took a little bit to sell about two months but I'm happy with the product profit on it now we sold some Walt Disney pins like Walmart promotional buttons and um, just listed these the other day we're looking for 14 I just did little lots of them as you can see them here and got them bagged up these are from like late 90s early 2000s these would be printed up at Walmart and the employees and stuff would wear them and it just says like own it on DVD own it on DVD and video May 7th that kind of deal and these sold for $7.46 plus shipping all right now we sold some ultrasound gel it's gonna be right here Okay. this right here um, just a six pack of it right here this sonic ultrasound scanning gel just a six pack of it this is going to be one of those scenarios where I just ship in the same in this box so we'll tape that box up good slap the label on it and that's going to be all we do but this sold for $29.27 free shipping now we got to get a skunk's corner right here I listed this yesterday it's a cribbage board type deal. Skunk's Corner, it's wood. And it's got these little pieces in here that you know you can go around the board with, I guess, or something. And then these slide open and it's got a deck of cards there and a deck of cards there. This sold for $22.50 plus shipping. So that was another good one. Picked that up a dollar a day. Now we gotta go to D1 and get some pewter golf pieces. These right here, they're just like little Tokens, they're little tiny things. Little tokens or like chess pieces. Or some kind of game pieces. And then there's that one. But anyways, this lot of them, we picked these up for near nothing. At a garage was it a garage sale? For like a quarter or something. And these something ended up like selling that. for thirteen oh six plus shipping. So we'll get them sent out. So that's our orders going out today. Some pretty decent stuff. I can't complain about it. That was a good one. 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 And that was a good one. These, I got a bun had a bunch of these, so nothing into them hardly. So we're gonna get this stuff packed up and sent out. Alrighty guys and gals, we got the packages off. Got these golf clubs we're about to start working on. We got Tor Edge, some Tideless, some Zevo, Tiger Shark. No idea about this stuff, but we're gonna take it, look it up and list it as needed some cookbooks we found there and then today we're gonna get all these pc games cleaned up and see how the discs are on them i have no idea about them things i give ten dollars for the box i think and um so we're gonna get that out the way all righty guys and gals so today is tuesday i was hoping to have a thousand active listings up Did you say tuesday yes tuesday but um we started out was at 700 last tuesday now we're at 809 i still haven't listed yet today but i'm going to so hopefully we'll be up around 8 40 ish 835 ish that's what i'm hoping for so i mean we got some pretty good numbers up in a week's time maybe 150 you know with stuff selling so i'm happy about that we got these games sitting over here we're gonna clean them up and get them ready to go she's trying to test some kind of flash over here so I don't even know what kind it is or if it's worth anything. So she's going to get that thing, try to figure it out. I don't think it's working. But, um, so we got up some pretty good numbers. We're going to try to get most of these done today if they're worth it. The golf clubs and then some more odds and ends stuff. And, uh, so I know some places are already starting to come off their lockdown and opening up their thrift stores. And, um, uh, I don't know about down here. It'll probably be May 1st or 15th, something like that. Are y'all going to, y'all let me know if y'all plan on getting out as soon as they open up or if you're going to wait. I'm going to wait. I ain't going out right now. I'm going to wait till this thing dies out a little bit more, more than likely. I mean, I don't need stuff right this second. I did get on highbid.com and we bought a pretty good bit of stuff of a place down there, Bowdoin, Georgia, which is 
Like, if you're in Heflin, Alabama, get on 20, Interstate 20, and just over the Georgia line, make it going towards Villarica, I think. So it's about an hour away from here. We're gonna pick that up either Saturday or... My goodness gracious, alive, man. <laughs> it works. Hoi, I can't see. I'm blind. My bad, that one snuck up on me. <laughs> Woo! Mm, what was I saying? Saturday or Sunday, and probably go Saturday, and then we'll show y'all that haul Saturday or Sunday. We're also gonna do another live show probably Sunday, maybe Saturday. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know what day would work best for y'all. I mean, I'm free both the days, and uh, I'll pick one of the days whenever y'all let me know, and I'll just pick a random time. You better not hit that thing again. It, it it's, works. It's... <laughs> but I do appreciate y'all watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button for us. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're going to see you guys and gals tomorrow. You all take care. Mm -hmm.